Now available in paperback and e-readers, EC Horror of a Hyena Woman, Hell's Aspiring Angel takes on a wicked werewoman in this action-packed all-new e series adventure. Get e Horror of a Hyena Woman in paperback and e-readers today. A Bronx supermarket cashier was assaulted by a woman and several of her grown daughters in an assault that was caught on store surveillance video. All video used here is under fair use of United States copyright law of 1976 and is used in conjunction with my commentary. Police looking for two suspects who beat up a supermarket cashier in the Bronx. Fox Eyes Linda Schmitz talked to the store's owner and tells us what he wants lawmakers to do to protect employees. Well, the owner of the store is telling me this all started because a mother got upset with a cashier who was 24 years old because she didn't respond quick enough to her when she wanted to get her money for recycling bottles. She was like, oh, I want to come back with my daughters. You see what's going to happen. And that is exactly what she did. At least four of them pummeled the 24-year-old cashier, repeatedly punching her in the head and pulling her hair. The cashier's co-workers tried to help, but the women kept punching. Customers we showed the surveillance video to, appalled by the attack. Lord have mercy. It's just horrible. Pedro Goico owns Food Universe Marketplace on East 194th Street in the Fordham section of the Bronx. He is fed up with people thinking they can get away with whatever they want. They could have killed her. You, 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 know, you never know what the intention were. Goico wants Albany to pass a law to protect grocery store employees who were called essential workers during the pandemic. If you attack or assault a supermarket employee, you are, it's a class D felony. It's like assaulting a police officer, an MTA bus driver, a fire department person. A coalition of store owners saying we need our leaders in City Hall and Albany to step up to protect our workers, stores, and ensure customers can shop in safety. We're in high alert. We're in high alert. The NYPD is investigating. In the Fordham section of the Bronx, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News. Now, according to police reports, Lizabel Rodriguez Luna was beaten and battered as she was working at her station in the Food Universe supermarket in Fordham Manor by an older woman and her grown daughters. Now, it's alleged that the reason for this assault was the older woman was still angry over being told by the cashier that she needed to wait her turn as related to being in line with other customers. And the woman didn't want to wait in line. No, what she allegedly wanted to do was cut in line and get money for a refund on some bottles that she had processed in the store's recycling center. And it's alleged that this woman was so angry over being told not to wait her turn that she basically just started acting out in the store and then went and and then the cashier just basically wanted to just give her her money to get her out of there, but the woman was still angry and threatened to hurt Lizabel Rodriguez Luna and threatened to bring her daughters back to attack her after she got a $15 refund. And it looks like this woman basically kept her word, basically arranging for her daughters to come and meet her outside of the supermarket. And as they met her outside of the supermarket, they allegedly came into the supermarket and assaulted the young cashier inside of the store and caused a lot of mayhem. Now, the police are seeing this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of this woman and her daughters, it fits the pattern and profile for dysfunctional females that I talk about in my book, The Woman Crisis. And it looks like to me that the mother in this whole situation was a woman in crisis and this woman in crisis was basically looking to go out here and wreak havoc at this store because she couldn't get her way. Now I talk about this type of out of control behavior in several chapters in The Woman Crisis such as Girls Gone Wild and I often and I also talk about it as related to the 
women and how their behavior becomes out of control. And this is a whole textbook example of everything I talk about in my in, in the woman crisis in those chapters. Because the way this woman behaved is the way many young women are taught and raised in our gynocentric and feminist culture, where women who have been indoctrinated into feminism have not learned how to respect other people's boundaries and how to respect rules and order. No, because these women have had their behavior enabled as related to getting what they want whenever they want, what they do is look to get whatever they want by throwing a tantrum. And as they throw this tantrum with their out of control and just egregious behavior, they hope to get pacified by people. And that's what this woman was doing inside of the supermarket. She had gone out here and had collected the um, tickets for the bottles she had put in the recycling centers and she had gotten her tickets and she thought that she was entitled to skip the line in front of other customers in order to get $15 and that type of behavior had to have been enabled in her for an extended period of time because many of these feminist indoctrinated women they believe that they have a right to disrespect others in order to get what they want, and they don't believe that they need to respect anybody's rules or anybody's policies or even basic social etiquette. It's all about them getting what they want, when they want, and how they want it, and they could care less about who is hurt. No, it's just all about them. And this type of narcissism has been enabled in, mo in many American women for the last 50 to 60 years. And that's what we saw on display in that video at the Food Universe Market in Fordham Manor. We saw a woman who basically thought that she, the world revolved around her and only her, and that she didn't have to be accountable or responsible for anything any of her own behavior and she didn't need to follow anybody else's rules inside of that business establishment and once she was confronted by another woman hoping to just put basic etiquette in place because it is disrespectful to jump in line in front of others this woman basically lost it because here was somebody who had as she thought the audacity to go out here and stand up to her and she was so incensed with anger that she felt justified in going out here and doing harm to this woman. And what's really troubling to me is that this woman held a grudge for such for over a week over a trivial incident. And even worse, she recruited her daughters to go out here and look to do harm to this cashier over such a trivial matter. I mean, that's the most troubling thing for me, but it shows how one woman in crisis can enable the behavior in her daughters because as the mother, she is the first teacher. And it looks like to me that this mother was teaching her daughters the same dysfunction that she learned as she was being spoiled and enabled by our gynocentric system to believe that she could participate in any sort of behavior without any sort of accountability. Now, this woman planned with malice of forethought to go attack this woman who was just working at a cashier station in a, in a supermarket. I mean, this woman planned with malice of forethought to bring her daughters down to Fordham Road in the Bronx and jump this woman over a $15 ticket and it just shows how petty some of these women are because they're sitting there being angry over not being over violating rules as related to just basic etiquette and they want to go out here and hurt another person all because they're in their feelings about being told that they need to follow rules but this is what happens when you have a gynocentric society that enables toxic behavior in women those women believe that they have a right to go out here and hurt other people for simply hurting their feelings because that's what i believe happened here in this case this woman's feelings were hurt about being told that she had to follow rules and 
because her feelings were hurt, she wanted to make this woman hurt physically. So she, with malice of forethought, I believe, went out here and allegedly went to organize jumping this woman with her daughters, which shows me that this woman's de development is completely arrested because this is the kind of behavior that hood rats participate in in junior high school when there's a girl they don't like. It's not the behavior a grown woman participates in unless her development is arrested to a mental age of about 14 or 16 because what happens with adults is they understand that there are penalties for participating in violent behavior like this because when you organize an assault and a battery on a person with malice of forethought like this woman allegedly did here, these are felony crimes that this woman participated in and these felony crimes have severe penalties as related to, I believe, um, conspiracy, because that's a charge I see here because there was a conspiracy to attack this woman. There is first degree assault and battery and the, there are, these are serious charges and also reckless endangerment. I mean, this woman basically put a series of felony charges on herself, but the reason why she felt emboldened to do this is because our gynocentric criminal justice system does not hold women accountable for their irresponsible, reckless, and in this case, egregious, excuse me, criminal behavior. And because our American criminal justice system doesn't hold women like this accountable for their criminal behavior, they believe they can go out here and participate in this criminal behavior and have nobody to hold them to a standard of law and order. This is why we are seeing many more of these incidents by women like this, because nobody in New York's criminal justice system wants to prosecute these kinds of women. But when you do this, all you're doing is enabling these women in crisis to further escalate their behavior, because that's why we have women out of control like this, because I've seen incidents like this of mothers and daughters going out here and showing inter generational dysfunction because the I saw it one time when I was waiting for a family member to get off the bus and meet them at the bus stop and what happened was was I saw a mother a daughter and a grandmother sneaking through the back door of the bus showing me how this dysfunction is enabled from one generation to the next and that's what I saw here with this incident at the food universe on Florida Manor was intergenerational dysfunction where the mother taught the daughter to go out here and participate in violence when things don't go her way. And what's even more disturbing is that the mother recruited the daughters to go out here and attack this woman over a trivial incident that she was in the wrong in because if you are in a place like a supermarket, you have to wait your turn. You have to wait in line. You have to respect other people. But this woman had no respect for anyone else. No, all she wanted to do was think the world revolved around her and only her. And because this cashier was out here not moving fast enough for her or doing what she wanted, she felt that not only did she have a right to go out and curse the woman out at the first incident, but on the second incident, she thought she had the right to go out here and do bodily harm to her. And that really shows me how America's women are just completely out of control due to 60 years of feminism. And due to 60 years of feminism, we have a whole lot of women out here who do not understand how to respect another person's personal space. They do not know how to respect the written and unwritten social rules of society. They do not know how to respect anyone. And this is quite troubling because according to the old African proverb, a race can rise no higher than the moral position of its women. And as the woman goes, so goes the race. And when I look at American women, when they have a low moral position like this, where they believe that they have are entitled to cut in line in front of other people in a place like a supermarket, and when they are challenged, they believe that they and their children 
have a right to assault someone, it shows us that our society's moral position has fallen to an abysmal level and the direction that the country is going in is a bad one because if your women are out here going out here looking to attack someone and do them harm over a place in line at a supermarket, what type of values are they teaching our children? Critical question I would like to ask many Americans who have, again, enabled many American women over three generations to believe that they are entitled to just do whatever they please without any sort of accountability. This is what happens when you've had 60 years of feminists telling us that women are victims and are never taught that they are also, if you're a victim, you have to take responsibility to move things forward. No, what we have here are women who believe that they have a right to do whatever they please, do whatever they want, and not regard the rights of others. And again, these are the women who are teaching our children, and that should scare everyone because what this mother was teaching her daughter was not to go out here and respect other people and respect the rights of other people. No, she was teaching them not to regard anyone. And if anybody slights you, you should go out here and look to do harm to them. And the harm that was done to this woman who was just working at this minimum wage job as a cashier, I mean, all her job is was to just process customers. And this woman was just basically terrorized in this situation. Now, there are people in organizations saying that they want more protection for cashiers. And I would agree that, yes, cashiers do need protection because all you're looking to do is go out here and just process payments. And I've had that job in when I was working in a supermarket. And again, I, all you're trying to do is process the payments, get the customer out of the store. And sometimes you run into individuals like this who do not respect the rights of others. And we do need to be able to have some sort of recourse where these individuals can be banned from coming into businesses. But I think in this case, these individuals need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Now, I doubt that will happen with New York's very um, leftist bail reform. They'll give these women a pass, but these women do need to be prosecuted because if you continue enabling out of control behavior like this, all you're going to get is more of this out of control behavior. And that's what flies over the head of many of these blue party politicians that when you go out here and give women like this a pass from mother to daughter, what it does is it encourages more women and emboldens them to participate in more out of control behavior. And you have to draw a line somewhere because when I look at the, this, these, this the behavior these women participated in, it's definitely showing me that we have a woman crisis that, like the man crisis that's getting worse and it's getting worse because no men will go out here and check out of control women like this. No men will go out here and set boundaries with out of control women like this. No men will set order and deal with women like this and hold them accountable because we've raised two to three generations of beta male simps and these beta male simps look to give these types of toxic women a pass, further in enabling them and emboldening them to further escalate their behavior. Because there was a time when I was growing up when a woman who acted out like this would be shown the door, and after she was shown the door, she would never be allowed to come back. But because we have enabled this out of control behavior for over 60 years, the many of these women are just at running wild and the whole thing is, the only way we can stop women like this from running wild is for a group of men to start standing up and start checking these women and for men in the court systems to also check these women because what's making these women feel emboldened to do this is the fact that they know that no everybody's going to give them a pass and there's no pass that should be given to a woman who goes out here and looks to do harm to someone over not over being told to stay in her place in line. There should be a boundary set as related to this kind of behavior, but sadly because we have many Americans who don't want to acknowledge the man crisis as many as don't want to acknowledge the woman crisis, things are getting worse, and they're getting worse because America doesn't want to acknowledge that the feminists we raised are not 
good women, and the feminists we raise are not looking to go out here and look to get equal. No, they're looking to be the superior, like in this situation. And these feminist indoctrinated women, they are creating a crisis all across the country. And with their out of control behavior, they are making the quality of life in places here like New York City unbearable because nobody should be f afraid to go to work at, as related to dealing with this kind of woman. But this type of woman is was created by feminism and this type of feminist indoctrinated woman makes life harder for everyone. And this is the type of behavior nobody wants to talk about because America refuses to talk about the woman crisis that is ravaging and destroying the life and quality of life here in America. Now, if you want to learn more about what leads to women indoctrinated into feminism acting out of control like this, you can pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Woman Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos about The Woman Crisis, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today.